you're watching the black table. There are some stories that people are floating around that they're saying are equivalent to what happened to Ralph. One of these stories is about a young woman by the name of Kaylin Gillis. Horrific story. Disgusting, sad story of a young woman who lost her life. Her and her friends were out going to a party in a rural section of, where were they at? Upstate New York. And they're going, they're going to the party and they get lost. They go to the wrong house. It's a rural area. They got to drive a great distance up to someone's to get to the to get to the house, you gotta drive up the driveway. The driveway's long. They get to the house and realize, hey, we're at the wrong house. The owner of the house comes out on his porch and shoots at the car. He shoots at the car and he hits Kaylin in the neck. They are like five miles away from the nearest to even have reception on their phones. I'm trying to tell you they are in the sticks. Unfortunately, paramedics were not able to revive Kaylin, and Kaylin dies. Kaylin Gillis was only 20 years old. She was killed. This happened only a couple days after Ralph. Was he wrong? Hell yeah, he was wrong. But what's that got to do with a black kid walking up and ringing your damn doorbell? Tragedy happens with guns all the time. Why are you bringing it up now? I think you're bringing it up to mitigate what happened to Ralph. Why else would you bring it up? We just got, it's that race, Tim. It's just, it's just people just do bad things with guns. Really? That's why we've been trying to regulate them. And you've been fighting this every step of the way. Every day, 115 Americans are killed by guns in some shape or form. You can throw a stick and hit a story about guns killing someone. Why are you choosing this white girl out of the midst of all these other people and comparing the stories? Ah, because there's no racial element. I don't think the homeowner that shot her saw into the vehicle to know who was shooting. But I know damn well Lester saw that black face on that porch when he shot him in the head. The other story that my friends are bringing up, my pals on the right, two cheerleaders. Okay, so after they do their practice, they go and they stop off at the gym. One of the girls, when she comes back, she goes to the wrong car. Mm -hmm. How many people have ever done this? Have you ever went to the wrong car? All the time. But have you ever opened the door and person sitting inside? No. That's, that's pretty, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's really not paying any attention. Yeah, that's not paying any attention. Yeah. There's a person in the passenger seat of a car. One of the young women walk up. They open the door. I don't know if she gets in the car, but she opens the door. Then she realizes, I'm in the wrong car. Mm -hmm. She gets out. She runs back to her car. The passenger gets out the car, grabs his gun. He runs over to their car. He's at their door. They roll down their window to apologize to him. And he shoots at him. Mm -hmm. They go and drive off. He shoots a couple more times. He struck two of the young women in the car. One of the young women has superficial wounds. The other, critical condition. Going to have a long recovery. I don't know where she was shot, but it's going to be a long recovery for her. And of course, the person who shot her has been arrested. Charged. Third degree. So... Horrific story, guys. I'm not trying to take that away from it. Horrific story. Someone has a gun and overreacts. Maybe he's been carjacked before. I don't know. Mm. Who cares? You don't just get to shoot people who are leaving. Mm. Once again, we feel for the people that are involved. Uh, they're victims. But what's this got to do with Ralph? Yo. Nothing at all. Nothing. It's in a different state. I kept saying, like, damn, damn, baby. Why is it people are so... Why do they question? Like, I don't question what the women were doing. Like, why were they going to cheerlead? Why were they going in the store? Mm -hmm. When I heard about the poor woman, the poor cheerleaders being shot, I didn't go, well, what were they doing cheerleading? Mm -hmm. I didn't think they were trying to steal his car. Right? right? Mm -hmm. so they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I didn't second guess the, the white young women going to the car. I didn't second guess the teenagers looking for the party. I didn't go, they probably went there to do a drive-by. Mm -hmm. They probably went there because they want to break into his house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those four teenagers didn't go out to party. They went out to, they want to do a, uh, what's it, Mason? What's the, the killer? Charlie Mason, what's his name? Um, Mason, the, the, the wild, the crazy psycho guy killer the, guy with yeah. the thing on his head. 
Someone knows that guy. I just sit there going, well, Charles Man- Manson. Manson, Charles that's Manson. it. I'm mm-hmm. not taking there a bunch of Charles Manson fanatics. I think there's some kids going out to party. What's in the wrong damn house? Right. But why is it that people, when I talk about Ralph Yarl, they want me to either shut up, they call, they say, I'm being a race baiter. Yeah. Or they start accusing the 16 year old of nefarious acts mm-hmm. to defend. The old cantankerous, trigger happy Lester. Mm-hmm. It's racial bias, yo. That's it. You want it to be something else, but it ain't. The large percent of Americans have explicit bias. They have explicit bias and implicit bias. I don't really like implicit bias. That's people off the hook. Implicit gives you the, the opinion that you ain't got to fix it because you can't control it but they're implicitly and explicitly biased towards black people. It ain't a phenomenon. It ain't a figment of my imagination. I ain't making it up. All you black people out there, you ain't losing your mind, Johnson. Don't stress yourself out. This is America. The reason why people can't see Ralph Yard is just a victim, those people, is because they're conditioned not to. 82% of Republicans harbor explicit racial bias. 62% harbor implicit racial bias against black folks, not for them. 60% of Democrats were implicitly racist and 30-something percent, 35% were explicitly racist. So Democrats are almost as racist as Republicans. They just don't really know it. Implicit bias is the reason why some people think Ralph, y'all, they got a question. What was Ralph doing at the door? Oh, 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 how big is he? How tall is he? Does he have a record? Has he ever been suspended from school? Did he ever smoked the wacky weed? They got to come up with all these things. It's pulling them off their ass because they are conditioned. They are implicitly biased. They got to come up with something. When you do this job, you see it. You see it. You hear it. And I don't harbor it. I don't, I don't, I don't think. What was those white girls doing going to their car? I think they, I, I accept that they made a mistake. I don't go, well, really what was going on? And if you're somebody who can't hear the story of Ralph Yarn and go, damn, that poor kid, he just went to the wrong door. If you're somebody who can't accept that, if it's got to be something more diabolical, yeah. he had to be up to something. Yeah. He had to be He had to be doing something. It's so easy for them to buy a narrative. You can make up any narrative, man. The right has a ball. They make up anything. A black guy can be walking down the street with no car, saying he was casing the joint, he was about to steal. Yeah. With what? He's got no car. He's got no pockets. Just simply existing. Just, just simply existing going. is enough. Well, he was, yeah. no, nah, man, he'd been by there before. Yeah. He ain't just jogging. He up to something. Yeah. He had been in trouble before. Well, he was, t- a lot of people been in trouble before. Was he doing trouble that day? What did he do? Well, he was there. Did he take anything? No, nah, but he was probably thinking about it. Mm. You know, because that's what, that's what they do. They, yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. So anyway. Excellent. Ralph Yarl. Excellent. Speedy recovery. Yes. Send him all the money. Send him all the monies. 